Hi guys. Oh, okay. I swear, we were hanging out for an hour. Like we could have been filming. We weren't filming. That quiet. <laughs> now we are about to start recording. Drills start coming in. It doesn't seem somebody is re renovating something. It seems like somebody is hanging oh. pictures. <laughs> What fucking pictures are they hanging? <laughs> Anyways, I'm Lola. Did we I'm say Elena. that? <laughs> We're watching Dragon Tide in the last episode. It's in last episode I mean, of season of part of part two of season four. I literally because we were informed. <laughs> <laughs> we were informed by Reddit. Uh, interestingly enough, because like literally, I was I was going to sleep yesterday, and I I was like thinking. Wow, we still don't know, like, we're about to watch the last episode and we still don't know, like, what afterwards. I, like, I thought it was gonna be uh, a movie because most people said it was gonna be a movie. Uh, and I was scrolling Reddit and on the um, television subreddit, it said, like, Attack on Titan announces final part three yeah, yeah. finale or whatever honestly on a april the first i saw at least five of those tweets there is part of three there is part of three oh. there is part of part of three but like it was april the first oh. so like people were like joking and actually uh, this is, happened to be true uh, exactly what i hoped for like i mean we mentioned this before like a movie uh no i need time to breathe in between things like if this is the final season i'm sure it's not gonna be like pleasant or easy to watch and like how would i manage to do that for like two hours sometimes 20 minutes is too much like, this is the best case scenario for me a part I mean, three it and, oh it didn't say it in 2023 so yeah, like it is in well of course it's not gonna be honestly this year. no i thought no no no. i thought it's gonna we we're gonna have to wait longer like in my mind i was like but it's gonna take that long. was literally impossible because like i, I think somebody says six somebody says eight episodes so like it's not gonna be 12 how many episodes. chapters are left to adapt you know well th that's why people mm. comparing to chapters that adapted in yeah, these yeah. 12 episodes yeah that's how somebody says six or somebody says uh, from six to eight mm -hmm. like it's not gonna be 12 yeah and they took a year for these 12 yeah like they're not definitely not gonna take two years for six or eight uh, i think they're gonna take more time because for uh, these last episodes because they are the last episodes you know yeah so like, I'm I guess sure it's gonna, gonna be a lot of uh, action, which yeah, I think yeah, takes uh, uh, longer exactly, to draw. Exactly, there will no, not draw. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We had some like filler, let's say somebody would call them a filler episode, but mm. they're in the woods and not doing anything and barely, like it's not. It doesn't Demanding. take as much uh, yeah. uh, animation, like yeah. exactly like that. So like, didn't someone mention like in season I don't know three, there was a Levi fighting scene. And someone said like something took like over a month or three months to complete so like one fighting that. scene or something. And I was like, God, <laughs> I cannot believe we're at the, I mean, last episode of this part of the season. There was a break. A if break. you're asking that we film our reactions, the intros and outros, yes, we, we, did. <laughs> we did. But it's um, long. It's so, it's I'm so, it's my, long. it's on me. It's on me. I was supposed to edit that. I was not going to be the one who said that. Yes, I was supposed to <laughs> edit that. But like, tell me why was it like an hour and 50 Honestly. minutes? We, were ju we weren't even told uh, an hour and 50. I will finish that and you will get it. I mean, there's like a year break at least. So, you know, <laughs> things are going to, I guess, be repetitive because it was before the last episode. We were then talking about also what we expect in this last episode. So like, we're just going to, I guess, repeat ourselves now. And then when you watch that, it's going to be a lot of again oh, repetition yeah, 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 yeah. i don't actually i have no idea like i don't know what to expect in this episode because our guys are now on uh, a boat and they're going towards eden but like for some reason i don't think we're gonna see eden in this episode like i feel like what? i don't know i feel like i, I love can... how we have a completely different conversation I, uh, no because one. like no i said this in the last one as well because like i'm imagining um because we didn't have Adam for like most of this season. Uh, I'm like imagining uh, maybe like at the end of the episode, let's say they see Aaron, uh, and oh, then Oh, you mean like our guys not to see Aaron? No, no, or no. you and me, not us as okay. well. And then I feel like maybe is there an after credit scene? Did anyone tell no. us? I mean, I didn't check. Uh... Well, me neither. So like, we were, maybe we have to like sit to see if there was an after credit yeah. scene because like I was thinking like maybe the credits roll and then like you get an after credit scene of like let's say. Uh, the you know the titans being on i don't know marley or wherever yeah, they are and like stomping last episode, right what do you mean the last episode well, in the last episode the last episode we watched you were literally uh 
confident that we're gonna see them at the end in the after credit scene oh well yes yeah, so I, I was like thinking that's how we see Eren like finally and like because it didn't happen then I'm like okay maybe now I, I honestly would expect something in the in this episode. because like how would like, we see I don't, Eren? I don't know if we're gonna see Eren it doesn't have to be Eren uh, but like I expect to see something because we're going towards that Yes, but like at the same time, we don't have to because we can imagine and we're gonna see it more in the next Part. chapters because like uh, what I expected to happen in the last scene uh, in before the last episode okay. was the last scene to be us going. Yeah, but that happened in the last one. Yeah, so that's why I think this one is gonna be a calmer episode mm -hmm. with our guys on, on the boat. And that's what's gonna happen in my mind. Like they're on the boat. And then at the end, like, they get to but the Marley scene, and then they see Eren and, like, I guess that's it. doesn't have to be Eren. It. it can be just, well, like, I mean, I mean, destroyed. He, oh, no, but I feel like they would see him, no? Like, with the army of the Titans. I think he's past them. Like, we're not even going. Where are we going? We're not even going to the Marley. We said uh, to Libero. Libero. That's that. That's not. We're mm, going we, to the... We, oh, yeah, someplace. Uh, to the... I forgot what they called South, it. in my mind. Somewhere yeah. in the South... Uh, and we're hoping to get there before Aaron comes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That we can intercept it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so that's, that, that's what I'm saying. That, that's what yeah, I'm, maybe that's how I can imagine it. the ending. Like, our guys finally come, and then you see just, like, the horrors of Titan coming towards them, and then you see Aaron and his uh, form, whatever, just, like, there. And I feel like maybe yeah. that's the cutoff yeah. point, because, like, yeah. otherwise, how will we see Aaron? It's not like he's gonna become a uh, human, you know, it's not like we're gonna be with him to like know where yeah, his mind is at. So I can't imagine he can, it. Can he be in his title this entire time? I think he is. You think he's like not? No, no. I, I I'm asking you because like as, as far as we know, mo everybody can be only few hours in their title. But like I don't know if he's different. Well, considering he's, he's like one. with Ymir and the founding one, and yeah, Ymir like can be a lot of the power, time. whatever. I feel like it can be the whole he time. He could, yeah, he could. Because I like, said no, I didn't think about that. Because like uh, in the last one, we know that Annie and Rainer could not be like maybe three or four hours. Yeah, I mean they can't be constantly yeah. their Titan form, but I yeah, I feel like it's different. There are different because wounds when you're a founder yeah. and like Ymir yeah. gave this to you gave technically. Right so now. like I feel like he can define the laws of. But how are we gonna yeah. ever get him out of the Titan if he's not ever if he's constantly in the Titan? How can we? Well, could they just like? Come and, like, cut him out from it, it? and be like, "Eden, stop, please." <laughs> are they gonna try that? Are they gonna try that approach? Uh, I think they're. I mean, I definitely do believe they're gonna try to stop him without killing him. That's hundred percent happening. I don't think the first thing they're gonna do is kill him. No, no, me too. Try to talk to him. Yeah, Ar I mean, at least feels... Armin and Makasa, you know. I mean, yeah, of course. And then when they realize that there is no talking. Yeah, to see, him. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he just like becomes human let's say like he's in his titan form and then our guys come and then he becomes human to like say something I to them like i can't imagine but also like i can't no, no. Well, like it's not like he's gonna be in his titan form the entire time the until of the part three episode, you know yeah. I don't, that's not gonna happen yeah so. but definitely they, i i can't i'm not i don't know right i, don't, I, I think don't our know. guys are gonna approach him he's not gonna approach us in my mind but like maybe he's gonna accept to talk to them and then when they realize there is no saving him and that he's determined in his plan yeah and he's not stopping that's when mikasa is gonna kill him but like why would he i mean he would because he loves them but like yeah be, uh, i was like thinking why would he even uh, agree to talk to get to them because he there's no changing his mind he knows that like he is gonna go through with this so like the only reason why he would talk to them it's because Save like they're friends I know. <laughs> and like he wants to, you know, so I to don't know. Actually, to, in my mind to maybe say goodbye. I don't know. I can't imagine him, him not talking to them. Like them no, not either, talking. Like, I, I also don't know they how have to talk at some point at the end. I don't think they're going to have five conversations from now on. Yeah. Like, I see. I don't know. Actually, I, no I, didn't, I didn't think yeah. think that part either, through honestly. with him being a titan now and like having... To, also, does he lose control if he becomes, like... A human? Yeah, does he lose control of the Titans? Hopefully not. I have no idea. Hopefully. Why hopefully? Hopefully, yes. I don't know. And we still don't know, actually, what Zeke. <laughs> I, yeah, we don't know about Zeke. Like, anything. Zeke just... I mean, I'm, I I think he's, uh, like, with Eren. Just somewhere. He's definitely there, yeah, I think, because yeah. especially... Definitely. I think that's it. I don't think we're going back to paradise. Yeah, yeah, like, I think we are where we are. And, uh, again, Levi is going to kill Zeke at some point, And so Zeke needs to be there. 
I guess, to be killed. He needs to be there to be in the show with have with yeah. not done with him. He's a very important character as oh, well. Oh, but then are we never just gonna see Historia? If Historia's yeah. on Paradise. Well, we haven't seen her for like twenty five <laughs> episodes, so like why would we? You know? We because we talked about uh, we like uh, remembered Historia. Well, we were watching the intros and yeah. outros because there's like an outro with just Historia in, in season three, right? And, and we, we remember how she was an important character. Right? At that point. <laughs> Again, I just think the girl is not having the best time. She also has a... Does she give birth? Is she still pregnant? Does she give birth? Do we know well, that? Well, we will never find out, I guess. <laughs> I'm very sad about her her life, like how it turned out. I like think it's very sad. At the same time, does she have it better than our guys? No. Nope. Well, I don't know. No. I, I, I can't imagine anyone having it worse than our guys right now. We have, we're having to kill their like friends and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, our guys are now on a boat after having killed a lot of the, the Jaegerists that were attacking them. People, fun story. Fun story. I was out the other night and I met a real-life Jaegerist. I was out with some friends and there were um, friends of my friend that were like visiting from um, out of country and I swear to god my friend just wanted to get me annoyed because she was like she was like you two like attack on titan and he likes flock <laughs> and I saw his uh, his screensaver was like a flock with a with a crown I swear to god it was like everything uh, that I disagree with, humanly possible, mm-hmm. that was said to me. That's like said in the comments that we always disagree with. Mm-hmm. All of that was said, combined that with alcohol, I had a great time <laughs> just fucking arguing the entire Honestly, night. Honestly, I would not have anything to talk. I was like trying I to... W- I would <laughs> not have any common subject. There was nothing for us to agree on, exactly. except at the end we're just like, look, that universe is just very fucking sad <laughs> and tragic and everything. And then he fucking continued it off on... Um, on Instagram. And my last message, I didn't even fucking enter because like I couldn't. <laughs> no, I was saying something about how, about Flock's character because he really likes Flock. How I uh, like his storyline, but that I don't think that he uh, has become like, I don't think it's an, let's say an upgrade from where he was. Much like I don't think Eren is <laughs> better than he was now, which people somehow think this is better for either of them. I just think it's fucking awful and tragic and sad. And then he's like, you know, the person I feel sad for is Armin. He's like useless and everything like that. Again, like, I, like, really I the just no, I did, I did not I fucking continue it. I was like, fuck? yeah, there's nothing, there is nothing for me to say anymore. But that's it. I was like always wondering, like people in real life, like really Jaegers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. But yeah, our guys uh, are now going. Uh, to stop Eren. And I just have to reiterate again. Like, I understand different points of views, but like the amount of shit <laughs> that our guys get uh, because of this is kind of incredible to me because they are gaining nothing from it. Like our guys are gaining fucking nothing from from doing this. Like they're killing their uh, friends because of what they think and what I think is the greater good right now there was like the same thing that annie said like she has now nothing to fight for because her father is gonna die like there's nothing for her to fight for much like rainer and everyone else and yet they're still going like they're going to stop adam for people whose names they don't know for people who they don't care about at all but like they're still going to do it uh and i just think the amount of fucking bravery that takes is incredible and again i don't think they're I don't think the show ever paints them as being, like, so heroic for, like, you know, killing their friends. There was this episode that clearly showed how awful it was when uh, Connie and and Armin had to... I mean, Connie had to kill the the, the two guys. It's just fucking sad. But, like, again, I I, I feel kind of incredible about the amount of of (laughs) shit that they get for for doing what they're doing. I want to see now... I mean, I don't want to see. It's going to be sad. But, like, how they're going to... Because now I, I feel like we're going to be with them on the boat. Yeah, right? I think so. Yeah, so, so like they kind of now have to work through a bit maybe with what they've done. Like I don't know how Connie is going to feel. Because like when yeah, you continue being... fighting, you just you have to shut off. You you can't like think about what you have done now. And now that it's all calm, I don't know what they're going to do now. That's like I don't know I how they're going to react to this now. To be. Yeah. Well, how can they react? Mm, I don't know. I don't know if this episode is also maybe going to bring uh, into question again what Annie asked Mikasa, like, when it comes to it, are you going to be able to? Like, is anyone going to be able to? Like, what do you do? Yes, we're going to stop Eren. And when you get to Eren, like, what do you do? 
Like he's your friend. How do you approach this? What do you do? Uh, I don't think in my mind Mikasa is ever gonna uh, accept yeah, that fact and say it out loud. Mm. I think that's just gonna be the thing she's gonna have to do in the moment. Yeah. When she realizes that there is no going back and that like she's the she's the one who has to do it, you know. Uh, but like I think uh, both her and Armin are gonna do anything humanly possible to stop that from to prevent that from happening yeah i don't know uh if it's gonna be mentioned one more time in this one you know mm -hmm. it's been mentioned i think two times so far mm. i don't know if it's gonna be mentioned uh, again uh but i think both of them know that that's that's where it's going but yeah. like they're gonna try to do anything to stop to it. stop it to not to not kill her you know yeah oh but don't you think we have to but that's gonna have to be next season because we don't have time for that but like uh, aren't like let's say alliances supposed to be happening now because like like people are getting destroyed now so i guess the the entire world is going to be in a panic like again i think this is uh, the prime time for our guys to start making um deals for let's say the safety of paradise we're gonna do this but you have to chill on killing so. us that's gonna happen i think that's gonna happen in the in the very end yeah i i honestly uh, that, uh imagine them saving them all mm -hmm. and that's uh, that's how they make an alliance i don't think they're gonna talk it out and be like oh we're gonna kill our best friend and uh but you can't attack us yeah okay i don't know i don't know that's there's still, I there's still um... i think armin at the end is gonna make a great point that's how i imagine it's like mm. armin making a great point uh, uh and explaining them why they should not attack them I feel like it's very kind of clear where the show is headed. I just don't know the. How it's gonna? I just don't yeah. know those details. Like I don't know how. Well, of course. I don't know how we're gonna get the place that I'm sure I we're agree. gonna get to. I agree. I... But I mean that's for the show to tell us. Yeah. <laughs> so let us uh, let us just watch it and then yeah. we'll discuss it afterwards because it is the last one. So like might as well cover multiple things. <laughs> I don't think this this episode is going to be answers. I imagine I think this it's going to be like be a filler episode for like other people, people. Yeah. but for us, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be fucking great. That's what that's what I imagine. I don't know why because I can't imagine anything starting right now. Exactly, we're gonna have a new intro and outro. Oh my god, yeah. But with the last season, God knows what how right? that's gonna look. Uh, ugh, Bird. the bane of my fucking why? existence. Why? Why are you? Everything's so soft. Has he though? Baby girl. Oh god, exactly. Oh, they're coming. They're Is that the place? Is that Aaron? Is that like a... Uh, what is that? Like a mem... What is... What could have been? It's when they went to Marley. Really? I think that's the only... <sighs> oh god, no. No, I thought it was gonna be like chill. No, fuck off. What is no, this? I didn't think gonna this be? would happen. I'm gonna. You have to. You're showing me fucking Sasha. Look at him full hopeful. Look at him fucking hopeful. This is the dawn of humanity. The dawn of humanity. Oh. I didn't expect... I want to pause it now. I didn't, I didn't prepare for this at all. What? I'm fucking shocked. I don't, feel, I don't like this. This is gonna be awful. <laughs> My boy. This is so not fair. Why? 
where the enemies are. I love Levi. <laughs> this is just so not fair. This is so not fair, honestly. Sunny, <laughs> I think he's small. の記憶で知ってるだけだ。中央区にいる言葉が通じてないが海に放り投げるってことだいや、右手を閉塞ってやろう右度と薬で出来るようにならいせしめに通りの目立つところにしばらく吊るしておこうそうすりゃこそとの持ちっちゃ減るそんなやりすぎです私
れたからそれとも俺は家族だからだ<笑>俺はお前のなんだ<笑>ああなたは全ては俺が望んだこと全てはこの先にある俺はジークの計画に従うならふりをするお前もそうしろ憲兵団はお前を基準にして島に来たジークを食わせる計画を進めている憲兵と争うかここから逃げるしか手はないこの島が生き残る一番堅実な方法があれば私はそれに従うあの時エレンが私をかばってくれてみんなが動いてくれたから私はそれで十分だよお前がよくても俺は違うえ世界を滅ぼす全ての敵をこの世から一匹残らせる駆逐するそんなの間違ってる島の外の人すべてが敵じゃないのにあなたのお母さんみたいに突然なんで殺されるのかわからない人がほとんどなんだよ分かってるでも肉親による報復の連鎖を完全に集結させる唯一の方法は憎しみの歴史を運命ごとこの世から葬り去ること
私はエレンあなたを何としてでも止めないと二度と胸を張って生きていくことができない耐え難いな始祖の力で記憶を操作するそれまでもお前が黙っていればそんなことできるさお前はあの時俺を救ってくれた世界一悪い子だったから Oh, he's talking about that. 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 Oh, he's t a l k i n お前のことが好きなだけだじゃなくてでお前はどう答える何言ってんだよ兄さん俺は長生きしてもあと4年しかないんだ<笑>私が子供を作るのはどう<笑>存在しうる最も巨大な大砲のほぼ全てが今ここに集結した人類の英知の全てが同じ目標に狙いを定めている<笑>この奇跡を叶えた艦隊が阻止できないならこれを止める手段はもう人類に存在しえない。
I don't expect this at all. I don't expect none of this. Well, the only thing I expect is the ending, basically. <sighs> okay, guys, we made a break. We made we some comfort down to you. A bed. We were like, should we take wine or rakia? Wine would make no sense. Not really? strong enough. Just a bit of alcohol. Like I would need a shot of something. You know what I mean? I would be like fine with vodka. That's like the 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 lowest I would go. I mean, if I wanna um, puke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how the tea will even help. Exactly, like you. Yeah, like, I don't know. Uh, tea is fine, but why no? <laughs> no, but like that's no, too because like, if I'm already me. going towards alcohol, like how do I pick wine as like? A... I don't know. It's my favorite one, so like it goes with everything. Not with fucking this. <laughs> I was not expecting this at all. Like uh, nothing. I mean, we we have t- talked before what we were expecting. I was pretty confident that's how it was gonna be. Like I thought we were just gonna be with our guys, perhaps on the boat, like you know, working through these things. That's why we said like we expect a uh, like a calmer episode. Honestly, now when I think this. about this, this made perfect sense. Yeah, like this was the only time this made a calm before a storm let's this is not calm but yeah sure but like let's call it like that uh we were on what we expected is us on the boat uh talking and basically preparing what they're gonna see and yeah. what they're gonna experience and what they have to do like motivating each other let's say mm-hmm. something like that so this was basically uh the last time we saw them happy the last time they were happy before everything happened i mean them not Aaron. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, this episode is, uh, this episode was, like, incredible. Like, it's, no, this is, like, one of my favorite, uh, favorite episodes. I don't, I didn't expect, uh, going into this, I didn't expect that this episode is gonna be the episode to finally get Eden's perspective. I feel like in my mind, but, like, that would not be good, but, like, in my mind, I, I always think, like, those things, like, they're gonna push it until the very end, like, to keep you guessing and then, like, reveal it all in the end, though he was doing this for these and these reasons. Again, I I much more prefer this. I don't understand what you expected to happen. How, what are we supposed to guess? Everything that was said in this episode, we already knew. We knew oh, his no, complete I mean, uh, yeah, uh, Yes, but, like, the show didn't necessarily spell it out. Spell it out. I think... It was a lot about it was like not, how you view Eren, you know. Yeah, yeah but like and it I was think just not said by him. But the show did spell it out. Every single of our characters was confident why Eren did what they did. It, we always talked about how it was basically right there. Everything that that has happened was right there. We just didn't see it. Uh, we just didn't see it by Eren. Like we just didn't hear it by Eren from his yeah, mouth. Yeah, that's the only difference. But like nothing new. No, right? I no. There was nothing. There was nothing new I was like, for they missed either. Of, no, 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 no. There was nothing new for either of us. Like this is exactly what we thought his motivations were. I mean, the show kind of. Be, I mean, because Ernie is who he is, it was sort of let's say clear from the start, uh, what why he is doing what he is doing. But I don't know if it was like necessarily clear to everyone. Like I don't know. I, again, I think the Jaegerists. I don't think this is as, gonna change anybody's opinions. Mm, no, me neither. Me yeah. neither. But I'm just like thinking, I don't know if people uh, thought that Eren is doing this for the people, uh, subjects of Ymir. Like, I didn't think that, like, I don't know if people like think that he was uh, with Flock, let's say. Like, I don't know if people like thought that Eren and Flock's plans like united because they're called the Agorists and whatever. And like, again, uh, to me, that was like very separate things. They didn't have the same um mindset at all kind of this episode really solidified i think a lot about eden's character uh and again and how he functions i was kind of not i was not i was not expecting it at all uh, the I really wasn't. thing i was least expecting is to see aaron sad that's a thing i uh did not expect because like i expected to see him determined I expected to see him all of that, you know, because I didn't expect mm. to see him in, in this point. I didn't expect to see a flashback of him seeing these people. So to me, the uh, the moment that like I didn't expect to happen, at least let's say in this mm-hmm. episode, you see him cr- crying, looking at the world. Yeah, this type of a world, yeah. this side of a world, and crying. I don't know, to me, uh, to me, he always. Uh, I mean, season four. Like, yes, determined, but to me, he always seems uh, sad as well. You know, that moment when he was, like, yelling at Hanji, like, give me another 
solution or whatever like he always seemed very um sad to me like looking at him always made me really sad and of course there's that the determination there that doesn't never ends i think determination especially in this app uh, i even though he thought of the solution before this episode i'm sure Mm -hmm. i think that the determination exactly started from this episode Uh, Like, you think it started uh, after he saw what he saw? I don't think he was 100% sure exactly what he's gonna do. I think just going to this island, to, uh, like, across the sea, Mm -hmm. and being with his friends and seeing all of that, I think that's when he was sure. See, I don't think... uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain this. I don't think there was ever a choice let's say, for him to be sure or to not be sure. It's because what we have found out this season, kind of, and and who Eren is and everything that has happened, what they mentioned at the beginning of the show, what, what did Mikasa say? Like, we thought Eren has changed, but what if we were He's not. what if we were wrong? So, like, because, again, all of this has kind of been set in stone and Eren remains, again, I think that's one of the, one of the, like, better... Uh, ironies of the show let's say with Eren who always speaks about freedom he is incredibly stuck like he is in a prison of his own mind that he cannot escape so like yes we say this was a choice but was any of this a choice he says like I don't even know when it began like did it begin you know when they attacked did it begin when I was born did it like it doesn't matter it was just always there you know it was always like this the thing that doesn't even have a beginning or the end it's always a continual cycle with him so like i think he was trying to do other stuff before this Mm -hmm. i think he did wanted to talk Mm -hmm. i think he did wanted to uh i mean we saw we saw scenes in like first part of the Mm -hmm. i think it was the first part of season four when they did try to do this and that Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. to make Mm -hmm. some alliances and stuff like that yeah and i don't think uh this was something he always plan to do i think he wanted to do uh, different things mm-hmm. but again I, I think uh by his just by his nature he has stuck to do this because okay uh we have seen them in this episode they went to this was a flashback for when they went to marley and i don't know again why, why i never expected because we had that like um in the beginning of season mm-hmm. four we had those like four episodes where we didn't have them so that mm-hmm. was like a big a hole that we missed from them then we saw them and then like we never like had but flashbacks at we that did time one, in one episode, what a bit, but it was a like bit. just one episode yeah, a bit but of like flag. we never really saw any of that you know and like again i don't know why i didn't necessarily think that the show is like it's eventually gonna like show us that time when they came and like when they saw this and uh all of that happened after you know he already kind of made the plan with flock like he said to flock i'm gonna Killed them all. He said the plan also to Historia and everyone. And then he came there. And he... he, Oh my god, it's fucking a peril to Gabby, I swear. But like he came and he saw. And he saw the people and he saw that they're just like in paradise. Like they're good people. They're bad people. They're awful humans. They're great humans. Like it's nothing... It's nothing different. Like he always viewed them as enemies. And they're just... They're just human. Much like Gabby, who saw it when she came here. But, like, unlike Gabby, he cannot escape his... How do you call it? He cannot escape his predisposition of having to do this. Like, having to achieve freedom, which entails killing everyone and everything. And again, it it always comes back to the same thing, which was said in this episode. He is completely doing this for his friends. Like... He is completely... It's not about his people. It's not about the people of uh, of um, the subjects of Ymir. It's not about them. It is about his friends. It is about that group of people. He wants them to be free. And he wants them to be he happy. happy. Oh, he... Like, that is a very big motivator. And again, it comes back to what Mikasa said at the beginning. Like, we thought Eren has changed. But, like, what if we were wrong? What if he actually never changed? And I think we also said this a few episodes before. I don't know. But like how he really, he hasn't really uh, developed. He hasn't really grown. He is, he is just stuck in his still childhood-like anger that just now translates to someone else. And I think the show did it very well because at the end of season, episode one, season one, right? That's when he said like, you know, I'm going to kill them all when the Titans broke out and 
Hans was scaring Hans, yeah, was scaring him, and his mother was uh, killed. And he was, of course, referring to the Titans, who just like broke through the walls, killed his mother. And now those same lines are repeated uh, at the end here, but he's looking at humans, you know? So he's still very much stuck in his own ways and he cannot escape them at all. And he thinks the future is just set in stone. Everything is set in stone. And it's like he has created this warp himself, basically, where he's stuck. That's why he is so fucking tragic to me because he cannot escape himself. Like he, for a person who talks so much about freedom, he just has never been, he's never been free. But I think the episode showed that so well with the parallels that it like kept showing. Because again, we saw him when he was um, a kid, uh, when his mother was killed. And then his story also mentioned his mother. So like the show really made you go back to those beginnings or what we thought were beginnings. And then like also Mikasa, who is trying to look at Eren and who he is as a person and is trying to be like, was he always this? And then flashes back to when he has killed these people, you know, and uh, to, to protect her, which is not, which was again, that was never, that was never normal. So Eren has always just been this. And again, to draw an even bigger parallel to Gabby, the show has always paralleled them so much, but it just shows that with Gabby, who has seen, come to paradise and seen these people and saw that they weren't devils, like she was able to face that, change her mind and grow, become a better person for it. Whereas Eren sees this and sees that they're all the same. That's what he tell, uh, said to Rainer. No, Rainer, you know, when they were talking about this, like I have seen, I've seen these people, like they're good people here. It's like, it's nothing different, but I have to do this. He has faced this, he has seen it, but he cannot escape from himself. Uh, that's where their paths of Gabby and uh, Eren <clears throat> diverge so much. They did a really great job of showing that. We had a scene with Hastori and Eren that I think was very important as well in this episode. Mm. In that scene we also saw pretty much Eren's, where Eren stands and his perspective mm-hmm. and all of that. Uh, when she, he told her his plan. Yeah. And uh, then she started screaming at him that how wrong that is Mm -hmm. and how there is so many innocent people there, which is... That are going to die not knowing why. Fucking true, exactly. Much like his mother. Much like his mother died. I think the show reiterates so many times how um, wrong this is of Eren to do. Because, like, again, I cannot tell you the amount of times I have read, well, like, you know... Eren saw his mother being killed and like he saw this and that and this and so Those like, are exactly reasons why should, he should not do this yeah. in my mind. Yeah, it, it, it goes mean, in the complete opposite I'm, direction for me. And people say yeah. that, I'm like, exactly, he saw that. Why would he want to do this to other people? To why other would children, anyone want to do this to, to s- other people? To see their mothers die yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's so fucking horrible. Yeah. I think Eren knows that. Eren knows perfectly fine that they're horrible people, but he thinks that that's the only way in his mind, uh, to uh, stop this hatred. Is that the word? Hatred? I think that's what he said. Yeah. yeah. To stop this the hatred. cycle of violence and hatred. I think uh, that's Towards what he said, yeah. his people. I think that's, uh, for me, that's the uh, reason why he doesn't want to stop. Mm-hmm. Yes, he loves his, uh, he loves our guys. Mm-hmm. But like any normal normal human would stop with killing other people. I just I mean they wouldn't begin this at all. Well, not maybe some would mm-hmm. maybe some some would be so fucking angry that he they would want to 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 kill other mm-hmm. humans. You know, uh, but I don't think it's just like the hatred that he feels because what has been done to them. You know, I think he just hates the whole world yeah. and he thinks everything is cruel and everything is horrible and nothing will ever stop and yeah. maybe in this way he will give his family and his friends yeah. a chance to live a normal life and to be happy and i think that's what he wants we said this before but like looking at Eren, he is not moved uh, like he was in, in the first three seasons i mean before this whole thing happens when he i guess kissed historia's hand right that was the turning point but like before that it was always very visible with how much anger he spoke and how much that fueled him and now there's like honestly you can't you can't look at him and say that there is like anger at him like looking at marley's or anything like that it is just more of a let's sort of say helplessness like this is all you can do he's not taking let's any any joy in it he's not taking revenge on people but he's like the, the the way the world works the way the that the world is doesn't allow freedom and like it's never gonna allow freedom as long as humans are alive the freedom that he speaks of 
is um, unattainable. And it always comes back to that and his vision uh, of it and how he cannot escape it. And so he has to destroy the world. But like, again, it's not about revenge for like certain type of people or whatever, which is always like how, how it different, dif- differentiates from Flock and him. For like, let's say Eren is very much opposite to Flock. Eren is very much, um, let's say, selfish in his nature. He is very much... Uh, selfish because he wants to protect those few people that he loves and flock is he wants uh, to protect his people he wants to protect subjects of ymir and he doesn't care about innocent life outside of that we had a kid pickpocketed sasha and everything I really loved that scene with leva and how they helped him and then eren was uh, looking at the, these people who have lost their homes um in a war and they have been displaced and he is looking at them and he is, I guess, relating. They have had their freedom taken away from them. So he cries there as well. That scene was very interesting because then Mikasa comes. One more fucking thing I did not expect uh, to be addressed, let's say, because it has always, I mean, from Eren's side at least, has always been, let's say, unconfirmed what his feelings are towards uh, Mikasa. I mean, we had this conversation, ironically enough, I think we talked about it, like, in between ourselves a few weeks back, about Eren and Mikasa and, like, how that whole thing is gonna play out. And I thought, like, that at at the end, again, I'm always, like, everything that I think is gonna happen, like, pushing to the end, I'm, like, the last episode. It's like I think those last 20 minutes are gonna have everything fucking in it. I thought that it was never gonna, let's say, be addressed, like, his feelings for her. I, I didn't think it was ever going to be addressed until maybe that last moment when he's, like, about to die. And then he is, like, faced with regrets and, like, he tells her some long lines, like, I wish we could have just lived happily ever after or something like that. Like, that's how I thought the show might do it. Because this show is very much about love. It doesn't necessarily revolve uh, a lot about romance. And especially because of the world that they live in. And especially because of who Eren is as a person. I uh, I kind of always understood why they never gave they never gave us let's say an insight of his feelings towards her because he has always had this the weight of the world on his shoulders and sort of it was in my mind taken away from him that like much like all his freedoms but like like that freedom to just be a a boy who likes a girl and so I thought it was never gonna necessarily be uh, addressed we had it like for a second in season one. When, like, John liked Mikasa and, like, liked her long hair or something. And then then Eren was like, you should cut your hair <laughs> or something. And I was like, boy, okay. But, like, we had also... I think also... we also had it at the end of season two. That's what I wanted to say. We had a very, kind of, in my mind, for me at least, a very clear a very clear indication for that. Because, like, who, who the fuck says to someone, like, I will wrap this scarf around you forever? Who the fuck says that? I don't know. I don't know how to explain their rela- relationship. I don't, it's kind of weird, in my opinion. Mm. I can't say I even thought that it was going to be addressed in this kind of way. Uh, I always, as well, thought that it was going to be addressed exactly that way, like, at the end. By some, like, regret like, or But, like, it's not like a regret. It's like, I wish we could have been there. I wish we could have just lived our lives and something yeah, like yeah, that yeah. but yeah. like uh even in that point i didn't necessarily think it was gonna be openly like romantic i think yeah. er- everybody could interpret it their way mm-hmm. i never thought it was gonna be completely confirmed confirmed like as romantic feelings mm-hmm. that he mm-hmm. has because mm-hmm. like well, i don't think that that boy uh has been in love with her the way that i think i don't think he functioned that way at least not that like i've seen it mm-hmm. you know I uh, I think uh, she has always been his family. I, I would say that he would, if the thing has been different, I think they would uh, have family and that they would be forever, you know? Like, mm-hmm. they would... Uh, no, I get what you mean, but I th- I do think that... Uh, I don't I think, think, think he has been uh, in love with her, but because of who Eren is as a person. Exactly, that's what I'm like, saying. There is I think... no place, there is no... Again, that's what makes it so sad, like, because there is no... Uh, time for that for him because he has this goal set goal to achieve to be to do that that's another way how he is stuck he can't even let himself be just a human 
he's just like a means to an end. Like he, 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 it's like he is meant to just do this. Like he can't even live his own life. And so that's why I never thought that it was necessarily going to be addressed because he's never going to give himself the time or the space to just be that. And that's why I thought like at the end when he's dying, it's just going to be like a regret. And that's what I meant. I, I always meant, I always thought that their feelings for each other are kind of similar. Mm -hmm. uh, meaning they both love each other the most in this world. Mm -hmm. And they would want everything with each other. Mm -hmm. But because of completely different personalities. Well, that's the thing. Mikasa is not... Mikasa is Mikasa free. doesn't have that barrier. Mikasa is uh, barrier? Barrier uh, of not letting herself yeah. feel for Aaron. Where I think Aaron has. And that's what I mean. Like, I don't think he has ever been... Felt that type of feelings, meaning like butterflies in his, his stomach when he sees her. Not in that, you know. What See, I, mean? I don't know. I think, like, I think he always know. I, 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 don't, I don't think he is like, let's say, um, shut those feelings down. I think he has always known. I just think he is like, doesn't matter. I'm like, I'm gonna die, and I have to do this, and I have things to achieve, and I can't, I can't just be this again. It goes back to him being fucking trapped by his own self. Like that moment, like I'm, I'm still trying to fucking process it. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't fucking know what happened there. But like that moment when he's looking at that boy, because she comes is. and then he's asking her like, why do you care so much about me? Like, is it, is it because I saved your life that day? Is it because I'm, I'm like your family? Or is it something else? Yeah. And so like, I don't know, like, does he think she couldn't love him for like him? Like, does she, does he think that like, because who he is as a person? And, like, he's about to go and fucking commit genocide. He is aware he's going to go and commit genocide. So, like, he is a fucking monster at the end of the day for doing this, for choosing this. Like, does he think that, like, because the way that he phrased that, I'm like, do you think that she doesn't, that there has to be a reason for her? Yes, because she's, he said to, um, he asked Zeke as well. Like, is there something in the Ackerman's bloodline? Like, is she forced to basically love me i didn't necessarily think in that direction i didn't think that he would doubt why she yeah i thought loves that, him. Uh, i thought when he was talking about ackerman's thing and when he told her everything about ackerman's i thought i thought thought that that's just to push her off yeah that the whole thing is just to push her yeah. off i didn't think that that's actually like how he was perceived rationalizing yeah. her love towards him yeah. because like maybe he thinks he's just that she, that she can't love him just because of who he is. And that's why he asked Zeke about the Ackermans. And Zeke was like, no. I just, oh my god, when she said at the end, maybe if I just give him the other answer. I think that's what caught me off guard. Because never in my mind did I think that he is like questioning where her feelings come from. And that's why he wanted her to answer. Like, is it the thing that he thinks it is? Like, you just love him because like I'm your family. So like it's required of you to love me let's say and that's then the so girl fucking ridiculous. and then the girl got flustered because like she but is in love so with him but that's so fucking and... ridiculous because like uh you can say you can tell me that like aaron hasn't uh sometimes at some point shown that uh, he's in love with mikasa mm -hmm. let's say but you can never tell me that mikasa has had i mean what yeah she's i mean i think again i think for everyone looking at Mikasa no one would ever fucking question exactly. where her love and loyalty come maybe from maybe he even thinks that like it's because she promised to her to his mother <laughs> she's gonna yeah, take care of him literally literally he might I mean, think he that did, I think he did thought that in the beginning when she was always trying to protect him is that him. why he oh my no like I never is that why he always was like mad when like she is protecting him and everything is it because like he thinks she is doing this out of just like obligation or like you're my fam and not just because like he just, she just loves you well i honestly do do believe that at that point he wanted to be good enough i really do believe that he uh he was just a kid at that point yeah it's completely different than now he was just a kid at that point and she was so much stronger than him and everybody uh, feared her where like no one feared no him, where yeah. he feared him and he wanted so badly to beat titans and to become someone you know yeah. like a special person in this who was born into this world you know yeah uh, i think that's why he was uh, always so angry at her for protecting him because he wanted to do it 
by himself. Then the girl, she he fucking caught her off guard. Like she was not prepared for that at all. So of course she said like you're my family, you know. And so this girl, of course, because you're my family. You yeah, mean? yeah, and like and then so he was like, yeah, it's like that's where the love comes from. I think, I think for everyone else, people who have eyes who are not Eren. Like, no one fucking questions Mikasa's love. Like, no one fucking questions where it comes from. She's just in love with you, like... Are they gonna kiss in this show? How, how, what do you mean they kill... Like, right before she kills him? How the fuck does that... How do you see that Imagine happening Imagine if now? she kills him, uh, kisses him, and then... Stabs him while yeah, kissing yeah. him? What the fuck is this? It's a soap <laughs> opera. The hundred? <laughs> I don't see it. I put it on... I, might, I maybe even see it. Because I didn't think that they would That would not stab him. That would not kill him, though. No, no, I don't, I'm, not, I, I'm not talking that they see her killing him while kissing him. But I... I, I uh, because, like, I didn't think it was gonna be ever confirmed like yeah. this, like, completely, you know? Yeah. I always thought that it was, like, be left in the question. And so, like, Even everyone can interpret it the way they the want. The way to, yeah. they would. Like, I thought they were gonna be, like, if... If only, you know, no, we could have yeah, been just normal, yeah, that's, casual that's people. What I, that, that's uh, what I thought, and I was like, I'm interpreting it romantically, and like, but I don't like, know what doesn't else have does, to but... be exactly. Uh, it doesn't have to be, and that's completely fine. Uh, that's why I never thought they would kiss. Mm-hmm. But now, when it was interpreted that this way, I could possibly see it. I don't know. Uh, I just find it very interesting because because for Eren, because he doesn't think Mikasa can love him for just who he is as a person. There has to be so much fucking. I mean, that was always visible as well, like, knowing that he's gonna do this now and to people like that. It's, it's always very visible that there's a lot of self-hatred in him going on because he can't, he can't even fucking stop himself from doing this. He, he searched for that confirmation in Mikasa as well. So, like, when she just said family, he's like, I'm interpreting, let's say, this situation correctly. Like, the way I view it is correct. And, and then Zeke asked him, that was also fucking so sad to me, but, like, Okay, so what are you gonna say to her? Like, that was such... <laughs> it's so fucking strange in this world. Like, these conversations that would just be, like, mm. an older brother talking to his younger brother about his, like, a girl he's in love with. Mm. Like, just, like, a normal thing. And, like, <laughs> and in this fucking world, it's like, well, what can I tell her? I have four years to live. Like, what, what does it even matter? You know, it's always the same thing. Like, what is... There is no time or place for any of this and yet like everything that he is doing is because of her that was one of the more unexpected things that have happened because i honestly just i didn't i was like fully prepared that they would gonna that they would leave that to like be interpreted as you wish or something like that and i kind of i honestly love that they 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 don't because uh i think (laughs) i think baby girl mikasa takes a lot of fucking slack for just like loving someone for just like being a normal fucking human being and loving someone. Anything Mikasa does, uh, I feel like people uh, react to it with so much unnecessary hate that like if Connie or John or whoever does it, no one blinks. But if Mikasa fucking does it, oh, she's the worst. Uh, and then to see her questioning like what would have happened if she had just given him That's just uh, a different answer. I don't know what would happen if she's giving him a different answer. Because if this like confirms his self-hatred or whatever and just like confirm that he is just gonna do this and go with this whatever if he if she like said i love you i'm in love with you would he then want to pursue a different type of i don't think so future i don't think so because i'm not sure honestly I, i'm not sure maybe it's i mean be, maybe would have done something but it's maybe too late it's gonna now. it's gonna be said at that one point i don't think so but maybe but in my eyes it was already what he no sudden so- son saw and decided to do maybe if it was years back you know maybe it would be different but like where we are at in where we were in this episode i think it was already kind of too late too late for anything i don't know you know what what throws me off because he was looking at those people and that kid and like he was crying so like at that point he was like let's say vulnerable so like to me again it seems like he was let's say looking again for a way out and yet he never like fucking saw it even though like it it was it's clear as day but the way that he perceives things i don't know maybe maybe i'm not sure honestly we didn't talk in this episode at all uh, of how we saw our guys happy the yeah, last time lovely. They, the last so time they cute. were happy well, first it was awful the, to see uh, sasha beautiful as well because i really yeah, missed I think, her but uh, like I, it made me the entire episode just made me really sad 
like uh, looking at uh, Sasha, John, and Connie, they are they were like always such a heart of the show. Like anytime they're on screen, they bring so much happiness. Like they always have, and like you know that the show where it went fucking dark when we lost that. Now to see them like interacting like they always did, and, and Sasha and Connie especially just being. Sasha and Connie. It was so fucking sad to me. Yeah, to me the episode was sad from the beginning when they just tried ice creams. Yeah. When you see how much of the role they've been missing just because of who they are and like yeah. who were their ancestors and what they and, did. I mean, it reminded me of the episode in season four, the beginning part, when it was a festival and yeah, then yeah, Raina yeah, was yeah. buying them things it's, that but they like never not, also tried. Yeah, yeah, to, with uh, yeah, Gabby and, and them. But like, they were kids and now our guys are, they're not kids anymore. Yeah. Uh, but again, this is a whole new world. They are excited about the car. They want to, they're chasing after it and they can be just normal yeah. normal people they are like there is nothing special going on around them because like it's a whole new world that yeah. they're seeing right now and everything is so shocking and surprising and exciting for them yeah and that part was very sad in my opinion to yeah. see our guys like that and then after that we had a scene just like with the guys in the village yeah. like they were not free they lost their homes and yet they invited us in their homes. Like they shared their food, food drinks. and drinks and everything with us. And they were happy for that night, even though they were not free, you know. And I think that was represented also beautifully, in my opinion. Just because we were with them, maybe, at that last moment when they were yeah. last time happy, you know. I mean, this whole season, again, shows a lot of the human nature and like how people can be awful and like to me all the sides are the same like they all have there's no difference to me between marley's the marley army uh and the diegerst like to me they're all the same to me they're cut from the same cloth they're just like fighting for different groups but they're the same and that's what that in as well then saw like it's just how the world functions it's what the world is it's cruel and it's beautiful um because you have these people who have nothing and they they invite you into into their homes uh, and drink with you and eat with you. And then they had that the last time they see Aaron before they get the message and everything. When the guy Me was talking think. on stage, uh, saying how the subjects of Ymir, they're like, we should accept them. They're like, not bad. The, the evil ones, all the evil ones are on uh, paradise. Like, that is, those are the ones that uh, are the bad ones and the rest of them, we should accept them and everything. Again, it, it, I think it comes back to to having to have an enemy uh, that they concentrate their hate on. And I think the show also mentions it again in the last scene when all the ships are standing in the bay. And then one of the guys said, like, you know, it's a miracle that all these... I, I don't know if he said it like that or that's how I interpreted it, but, like, that all these ships from, I guess, all around the world have come here now to fight together against this common enemy, against this common threat. So, like... It, um, it talks about the world uniting again between uh, a common threat, which is Eren. So again, they were mentioning, the that guy was mentioning how the threat and the, 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 the evil people um, are on paradise. Again, and our guys I are think, sitting there the my, listening exactly, to them being Yeah, but devils. in my guys, that is uh, even progress uh, for people uh, on that side mm-hmm. of sea because like all they hear and all the history mm-hmm. that they've been taught mm-hmm. is to hate subjects of Yamir. but like uh, some of them uh, met some of them and some of them know, know some of them yeah. and know they're I perfectly fine because... people but mm-hmm. like they don't know they haven't met people in paradise yeah. all they know is that like what their ancestor did hun- a yeah. uh, hundred years, years back yeah I think I think it might have been because like they said like now with the blood testing that they do they have uncovered what that there are a lot of subjects of Ymir walking amongst them. And wouldn't that like uh, if you live in your world of hatred, like wouldn't that make you think like you were you have been living besides people you deem are the devils and you have just been living fine. Like there has been no, no problems. There has been nothing. There has been no issues. Like no. I don't know if that like made the world think. No, I, I, I think also it's just like people you know. They know them. Yeah. They know that they are good people. That yeah. They know that they are fine people. Like mm. like he said, it's not their fault that like their ancestors yeah. Yeah. wanted to thread 
their blood let's say yeah, all over the world like they were yeah. just been born like this but they are fine people yeah. but uh people in paradise they haven't met well, and again, they don't know them exactly. it's just like the story them, so it's much easier it's just to like just the think stories they, they heard of them and mm-hmm. what they that guy is doing is um it's not like he's trying to send to spread a hate towards people in paradise. In my in my eyes, it wasn't mm-hmm. like that. He was basically trying to uh, say that these people, the people they've been living uh, with yeah. this entire time, are not devils. Mm-hmm. And then he's sending hate to the ones like he doesn't know. Yeah, you know. Again, I think it's what uh, what is his name? Willie, maybe Willie. It's a similar thing that he was saying, like what how he wanted to. Uh, let's say protect his people by saying like these are the ones that are on paradise are the evil ones so like uh, we should uh, embrace the ones that are with us and just like the the only bad ones are in paradise Mm -hmm. and that's like how you unite the world and that's how you uh, let's say reduce the anger of the world from the people of Ymir from the subjects of Ymir to like that one island which is so fucking cruel like anytime I'm listening to them and listening to how like they talk about the people from paradise like I get so angry like it makes me so sad it also is just like very helpless because like what do you do how do you stop it like I always say I don't support Yegoras and I do not I do absolutely do not and then you know, you can always say to me, well, what are they supposed to do? Just, like, uh, let themselves be killed. Of course not. And I, I, I can't tell you what they're supposed to do. I don't have good answers here. Uh, I can only tell you that if, if, if the right answer is genocide of the entire world, I don't want to be fucking right then. It, it's, it's just sad. And to me, it's just, um, it's very stuck. We also had that ending scene, which is like what I thought we were going to see at the end of the episode. Yeah. For, for whatever reason, I didn't imagine the... <laughs> It sounds, seems dumb, but like I didn't imagine them. Yeah, me. Swimming. I <laughs> when I walking. saw it, I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, I imagine them, I walking. Imagine them walking on the bottom yeah, of the sea. Me too. Like I don't know, like that couldn't necessarily work because they're supposed to be very light, aren't they? They're supposed to be not heavy. Wouldn't they float then? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like then, so like me thinking they're just like walking doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah. But like that's how it was happening in my mind. In my yeah. mind, so like when they were. When they started shooting at them, and <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> how fun. <laughs> I mean, it was awful. The whole fucking thing was awful. But, like, I, I didn't expect to see the Colossal ones just, like, swimming. Yeah, yeah. Of course, they can't. There are too many of them. There's just, like, absolutely too many not. of them. There's not, not enough weapons in this entire world that could stop them. And then we see the soldiers just running away. And, that was uh, very uh, cruel and sad part to me. It, it reminded of uh, season one, episode yeah. one. It I mean, reminded first of they the want to fight to and then when they realize that there is, it's hopeless to fight. Yeah. They, they start running even though running, it's hopeless it's to run either. As well, hopeless to run. And, like Just the whole thing was very uh, sad in my opinion. Yeah, we see above them, Eren. Uh, I, I can't explain it. He looked like a monster. Yeah. He's come there to... to, to kill them all i mean i can't he imagine says. his face to look like that yeah um especially because we saw we saw his face yeah, his yeah face. we saw his face um uh, but, but like, like the, the whole body the whole portion body. like we saw it uh in the background like when it happened like we yeah. saw it but like i wasn't even sure what i'm seeing when yeah. i saw it and now we saw it uh fully yeah and he looks absolutely terrifying he's about to kill everyone there which also i guess includes the people that have Gave, gave them food and <laughs> sang with them and uh, he's killing them as well he's just and killing everyone children and their mothers their fathers it and is that is exactly dumb. what he should be doing uh, yeah I to d- protect I... his island little island how do we come i'm to joking that? about little island doesn't matter which sides of the island <laughs> yeah of course like we're not saying that they should surrender and die and i understand I, believe me i fully understand the argument of like well ever the world was gonna attack paradise what are they supposed to do i again i fully understand that argument but like you l- look at this here and how do you think yes this is what the, this is what should like, be done anything and else just like mind. and just like continue doing this to the entire world how do you look at that and think and think that hap- that that should happen i don't get it me neither Honestly, i don't neither. again i don't have a lot of answers like i can't tell you oh we should just do this i just i, I, I have nothing i have fucking oh, nothing i'm leaving that to armin uh, this is the worst worst thing that could possibly happen 
I have no idea what the next half of the season uh, brings. Because again, how how do we see Eren in any way? I, does he turn back into human? Now that, 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 that's like my biggest question right now. Uh, well, he has to at some point. I guess I'm assuming so, but like at some point. Like, yeah, do you mean has. like hand of the... Because like, it's not like... An, yes, end. but like I don't... Do you think that like um, Mikasa and Armin are gonna get to talk to him yeah. before like the yeah. final episode? I actually do believe uh, he has to have in the second part, third part, he has to have a conversation both with Mikasa and Armin separately let's say that's gonna be i, I could not me. yeah but like i could not even tell you how the fuck that like me works neither, me. imagine like together because last time we had that was like 4 15 4 14 one of the, that episodes that was 14. fucking that was mm-hmm. rough to watch so i can only imagine this because it's gonna be like 10 times worse if they like all have a conversation together but like but i, I don't just remember he's gonna be He's gonna say bad things to them. No, me neither. That's the worst I part of it. I expect to be completely opposite because I, now he has already done this. The worst part of it is the honesty, possibly. Yeah, I think. I mean, he has to be because it made not make no sense. It, it doesn't because he already did this. There yeah. is no stop, stopping him. He already killed so many yeah. people. Yeah. So uh, the most he can do is the only thing he can do is be honest with them and tell Armin what he thinks Armin should do, uh, or tell Mikasa what. He regrets about everything, you know? I can't have the scene between the three of them. That always kills me. And, like, even in this episode, to see them just, like, drunk and just, like, laying next to each other, all three of them, like, yeah. kids, that was oh, that was already fucking too much. And, again, <laughs> I love that part of the episode uh, when Eren is thinking about it and he's just, like, he's just... Uh, the, the, the pictures flash of his friends and he's like, I just want them to be, be happy. happy and be free. Yeah. I... I'm not looking forward to seeing. I mean, I am. You're gonna have enough time to not look I will, forward to anything. Yes, but like I, have, I think I'll have enough time to, to necessarily prepare for it. Yeah, I think uh, so. Too. And, and enough time to rewatch finally. Yeah, 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 definitely. Completely this, enough time for. Last re-watch. time we had a month. This time yeah. we have a year, yeah. more than a year possibly. Yeah. So, uh, I definitely do believe the next time we see you guys, we're gonna rewatch this whole show. And then and maybe it's gonna be even. I think more in. <laughs> I'm like I'm dying. I was like I was because I started the rewatch on like season one, uh, but like uh, every episode, every episode is ten times worse. Like the episode where Mikasa well, thinks course. Eren is dead. That's like now in hindsight with everything that has happened, it's like fifty times fucking worse yeah, than honestly, I've ever I'm very thought excited. would be. Honestly, I'm very excited to see uh, whole that whole everything. I'm very excited to see the conclusion fucking finally uh, and to see how they wrap it up again. I There is nothing here that makes me concerned about like a, a direction they're taking. I feel like they're gonna stick the landing and I really want them to stick the landing I, because I, I, I think I... the show for me has been perfect. Like everything that it's telling has been perfect and I just really want them to stick the landing because far too many shows just just like I don't. want the thing I wanted to say is that like I've been disappointed too many times and I know better to not uh, be hopeful uh, to not be scared mm. so I'm not 100% confident and nothing so far have made me concerned that like it's not gonna be great <laughs> great but like horrible what would, the, the thing it's gonna be, is it's gonna be what horrible. do you think would be like what would you be unsatisfied with with what type of ending i know we'll see i'm gonna <laughs> like, tell you <laughs> i'm gonna tell you if i see it i want every character to uh, get the ending it deserves not like just our main three characters but the thing is like the ending they deserve they all everyone deserves happiness and everything but like it's not depends we'll see. i don't think it's achievable for why anything. not well, because of the trauma. They well, have. if he deletes their, uh, I don't. I don't think that he's not deleting. But their if, memories. if he does, and the whole world is, but like, but like, yeah, it doesn't happen because again, the whole that still world doesn't work like, because the world remembers. Exactly, so like, why would exactly. our guys be the only ones exactly, to forget? Exactly. I mean, he mentioned that to his story. I thought it was yeah. interesting. Like, yeah. you know, I could uh, because you're not fine with this, whatever. I can erase your memory, and then you would not have anything to suffer about, whatever. And so, like they mentioned that potential of deleting memories but like i don't understand like how would that work because the, the world remembers and he but can't like delete for the memories in of the his world. mind if he kills the whole world yeah i guess he thinks if he like kills he, yeah. the whole world then only mikasa and levi remember 
which is horrible for me. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to see how they, um, how he. I always say they. There's one fucking person behind this. That's that's kind of yeah. still incredible to me. We're gonna have to see how Isayama concludes this. Mm. We'll see in 2023. Yeah. Oh, okay, guys. Uh, thank, thank you so, so much, much for watching. watching. This is we'll gonna be a bigger break than we're used to. In a year, let's say. Yeah. Bye. Bye.